here what we did was uh, when we put down a pre, we put down prowl plus cotterin, and that lays a foundation of control, right? It keeps those weeds, uh, one, you get a pretty good level of control, um, but it gives you a wider selection of your post window to go in there. And as we'll see, without that, uh, with a total post system down here, it, you actually got a lot of early season competition. You'll see some stunting of the cotton. But you can see that with this system, Prow Cotter in and then following up with Ingenia, Outlook, and Glyphosate. The key is stacking in the residuals with the post application. So you'll see here that we've got Outlook herbicide, which again, we just got registered um, last uh, February, I believe. It's February or March, and it provides excellent residual grass and small seed of broadleaf control. Obviously, our target here is Palmer Amaranth, and you can see here that it's, it's really done a great job. <coughs> now, you're going to see us talk about some multiple post applications. My belief is that next year, a lot of this cotton, and probably soybeans as well, is going to get put on some of the worst acres. Now, we all know that cotton is not a very competitive crop until it gets up to this size, you know, and really canopies, right? So you're going to hear us talking a lot, and you'll see this, is two post shots with layering residuals in each of those. Because some of these fields we're going to be on are, are much worse than this with Palmer. So, next, and actually these two are side by side, and they show a good thing. Let me start with this one first. This will give you an idea of the amount of, of uh, resistant Palmer that's actually at this site because uh, even though glyphosate's not very good on Morning Glory, it did knock quite a bit of it out and then the, the Palmer took off. So you can see that we've got a lot of pressure here at this site. So we always try to do that at each of our sites is put a, a total post glyphosate down and it gives us a good feeling for what we have present at the site as far as resistance. So back up here. This was a total post application of dicamba plus glyphosate at eight leaf cotton. Size will matter with Ingenia. We're saying four inches or less on weeds. Some of those will work on larger ones, but when we talk about Palmer amaranth, four inches is going to be key. Because once it gets bigger and you start getting, if you get into a dry stretch, which we're prone to do here in the Mid-South, it gets hardened off and our consistency of control is not going to be good. A lot of this Palmer was there at the time of application and it was just too big. All right? So you'll hear us talk about size matters and you got to be on their timeline. Okay, let's move down. So I talked earlier about a systems approach, right? And this to me is one of the mo uh, one of the best systems uh, that we've got. And again, you'll see this routinely prowl caught around down as a foundation. Then we come in with Ingenia, Outlook, and Glyphosate. And then we fall at four leaf cotton and at eight leaf cotton, we, we layered in a Liberty Warm. Now, what does that give us? One, you've got, you've got a couple sites of action free. Now, they're not real stellar free, but they're gonna keep things down to a dull roar. You've got Ingenia's uh, an alternate site of action post, and then you're also laying in Liberty, which is an alternate site of action. <coughs> and you've got residuals with each of those applications. So, I think, program or similar you're going to see us highlight another one down here is really going to be what we're targeting for a lot of acres in the mid-south and the southeast wherever we're going cotton because the, the pressure is just so high uh, but that's a great program approach and you're going to get great resistance management 